What's up, YouTube? Jet Fuel EDC here. And this evening, I'm just kind of messing around with the camera. I got a new tripod, got some new lighting. Uh, we're just trying a few things here, trying to um, get a little better view for the channel. And uh, we're just, like I said, I'm just kind of messing around with things. And this video is just... I'll find some purpose to it. Got the uh, ZT0456 here. As you know, if you watch my previous videos, check this out. Look at that. We're doing good now. No shaky. But um, if you watch my previous videos, you know I talked about swapping out this pocket clip. So I did get a deep carry for this guy. I also picked up one for the uh, Spider Koyo Jimbo as well. Uh, you know, I didn't I didn't care for the plain pocket clip they had there, so I picked up this one for it. But the uh, Yo Jimbo is at Spider Co right now. Hopefully, getting uh, the blade reground uh, for that horrible job they did. So let me get a Torx bit here. crack this guy open hopefully without stripping anything hopefully the Loctite is not crazy on it yeah microphone cord peeking in there like I said I'm just uh, kind of messing with this new new camera setup I bought a new new tripod and uh, got a microphone and some new LED lighting. It looks pretty bright. I got a actual photography grade uh, LED lighting. And nothing special for a microphone. Just, uh, um, let's see, just a typ typical, uh, I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> It was highly recommended on Amazon, so that's one I got. This is a good sign. <laughs> I love it when stuff like this just breaks right free. I am not a fan of Loctite. If you use it sparingly, it's not, not too bad, but a lot of people go way above and beyond with that stuff. That, uh, let's see, that, that Steadimon that I took apart and Rit dyed the scales and all that, it was, uh, it was a tough one to break, break apart. It, uh, I had to get the blow dryer out after it. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. It's got a little bit of corrosion before I put the new pocket clip on it. All this is is a marine tough cloth. I really, I enjoy these. You know, they're they're awesome. They they help resist corrosion, clean. They can also treat corrosion, as you can see. There, we about got that picked up. Very nice. There we go. That pretty well cleaned up. Yeah, there we go. Got a little mark there. Okay, cool. So there's that. Yeah, we're gonna see. I don't know. I may not even like this uh, deep carry pocket clip, so it may go right back on on the other one, or it may the uh, the original pocket clip may go right back on. It looks like it's gonna have a pretty good fit. Give it a go here. There we go. 
Get that first one started, that's a doozy. We're just gonna tighten it down just enough to get that hole lined up. Loosen it up just a hair. Just enough to get the hole lined up and give it where I can maneuver it a little bit. All right. I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I'm anxious to carry it and see how, how it disperses the weight in the pocket because this guy is, it is a heavy knife. Eh, it, it's got a little, little hot spot back here where you kind of you feel it in your hand but not terrible because this knife is it's a tank um i think it's gonna work out it is a little bit i mean it's a different different shade of blue than what what the uh backspacer and the pivot is here but i think it'll work out uh, let it ride i thought about going with black but uh just Thought I'd stick with the blue and kind of see how we liked it. But yeah, I'm gonna give that a ride for a few days and see how that does. And uh, when I get the Yojimbo 2 back, we'll be installing the other one, wherever I put it. <laughs> oh, it's over here. We'll be installing this guy. I think that'll be a nice addition to that. They should have, that knife should have came with a uh, deep carry pocket clip. But I got these from uh, MXG Gear. You can see them at mxggear.com. And they got a Facebook page, uh, Instagram, and their email address right there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new camera setup here. See how it, see how it works. Um, I can see it's kind of kind of off center. We're gonna have to kind of play with it a little bit, but I think it looks good. I mean, the uh, the lighting's really good. The uh, I, I'm loving this right here. You see, I'm and no shaking that's great because in the, in the past you know i'd set a box down on the table and it would shake the camera i got a pretty uh pretty steady tripod now so hopefully this is the uh the uh, permanent fix but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and uh as always thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll talk at you guys later